Gosh, man. I usually don't start off videos in the middle of some section because it's going to sound like... Uh, this just it comes off like out of context, right? You guys don't know what's going on, but I'm scrolling through AGL Kale's JP celebration. First of all, a good chunk of this we've already gotten on Global. Second of all, they're going to compress it, so it's not really that big of a deal. But even with most of this still on the way, or at least I sh maybe I shouldn't say most of it on the way, even with the idea of this being a compressed celebration there's still not that much content like i don't feel excited for this at all agl kale is on her way for to global we already knew she was on her way right we were it was all but confirmed i don't really have to say much shout out celtic link for posting this of course the teaser is up as of like 45 minutes ago on my global account i i listen i woke up and i'm trying to get my mind together all right so forgive me but yes kale is on her way kale herself is an absolutely spectacular amazing unit who doesn't have a team around her which i've been able to say about like what like five or six units this year it's it's getting there for me man i'm i'm about to like start just assuming dokkan fests are gonna be Un unusable a couple months i wouldn't i wouldn't call her unusable i would call her i would call her team problematic how about we call it that but yes um kale is on her way i don't like her leader skill by the way i actually think she's really good i don't like her lead universe six or transformation boost is a really odd pairing and then of course universe survival saga or full power is fine because it covers like evolution blue vegetas and ui gokus and things like that that are the older ones that are transforming i suppose it'll cover future ones that transform sure it's just it's not for me now with agl kale being on the way her power is going to be felt for sure you guys are going to realize how good she is i actually think she's very understated among the community as how how high up the tier list she is for the turs i think she's not far behind like she's at her peak, I could understand somebody saying she's like fairly better than God Goku. I think God Goku is better because I, I value links and I value the categories you're on and how versatile you are. But peak for peak, I think Kale is probably better. It's at least close. It's bar for bar. Kale is certainly there. She hits hard. She hits way harder for sure on her better turns than UI Goku or UI Goku than that Battle of Gods Goku does. So do with that what you will. I'm not saying summon for her, bro. Please don't summon for her. The frost that she comes with is a terrible unit. I should have pulled him up. I sold. I should have pulled him up. He's terrible. Don't worry about him. He's garbage. Like I said, don't summon. If you if you summon on that banner and you don't get Kale, you're probably gonna be pretty pissed. Matter of fact, let me see if I can pull up her banner while I'm here. This is actually good. What's on her banner? I don't think her banner is gonna change. Oh, physical kid Goku comes back. No, bro. Ah, I needed that. I needed. I wanted to save my coins for him, but at the same time, if he was on a a better situation and a better placement i certainly would have been summoning be partially because he was on the banner but whatever the into resurrection f blues are actually unrunnable nowadays it's rough for them tech kale and khalifa are outdated that's fine that's fair for them str kale could easy a str kale str kefla could easy a sometime in the next like three months three four months Ooh, like sounds like a drag but personally i think it's very possible they don't really go in order anymore so yes, AGL Kale and Tech Frost are on the way. Don't be excited for them, people. Please don't feel hype. We know what's coming around. Matter of fact, I still got the tabs up. I just recorded that video. We have future content coming up. We got the Dokkan Field mechanic on the way. We have a lot on the way for Global and JP in about three or so weeks. And I think you guys should definitely look into making sure you get as many stones as you can from this Kale celebration. Don't get me wrong. Get the most out of this. But then just dip, bro. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. And don't touch this banner. I don't care what discounts are up. I'm saying that and I might touch the discounts. I'm such a terrible person. So, yes, bro. I, that's really all I've got to say for you guys. I'm going to leave it there. AGLK on Khalifa's EZA is coming in part two. They they are, well, part two. It's going to be a one part. It's, it, this part one and part two that came to JP is going to be compressed, all right? It's all going to hit global at once. Anyway, this is... EZA is going to come in about a week or maybe 10, 12 days. 
they're really good. I actually think they're really good, but because pure sane enemies don't dominate the game right now, part of them feels locked away, if that makes sense. Universe Survival Saga is not prominent right now as, as bosses in the game, so part of them feels locked away. But they, even then, like, they're just so amazing. Their dodge chance, the additionals are, of course, still there. The key sufficiency they have, the additionals are still there. Their link set is actually really good. Like, I, I don't think about it too often when I think of them, but their link set is good. Their category set is pretty good. I'm going to I'm gonna just say this. They're not the ideal partner for Kale, but they don't get enough credit for being the partner that they are. I really appreciate what they do for that team. I, I like the way they look. I like the way they come off in showcases and things like that. All I really got to say for them is they're a good underrated EZA, but they're not perfect. They're far from perfect. They'll look much better once we can find that final unit. I shouldn't even say final. They need a couple of units on that tournament of power team to make Kale look crazy. And of course, at least one of them needs to be a slot one universe six team. Besides that, please don't summon. Please don't. I don't know how many times I have to say it for some people. Maybe that was the one that makes you understand. Maybe it's this one. Please don't summon. Please. But young Hitman <laughs> is off this. If you don't look, listen, I got a couple. Matter of fact, I got a couple mods. <laughs> Oh man, I got a couple mods and a couple of chat members that just, they love the muscle moms, man. I don't know what it is about Kale, they love it. So they're probably going to end up summoning for AGL Kale and pulling three copies of Tech Frost. And they're going to be pissed when that happens. But such is the game, right? It's just, you got to take it however it comes through. This Kale, when she transforms, by the way, she's past Goku. Like, she... She's very, I didn't say it, I don't know why I didn't mention it earlier, but once she transforms, she certainly passed Goku. She's incredible. She is the slot one unit that she wants. This STR, this STR, this Berserk Kale, if she's in slot two, will become that slot two unit that she wants to be being protected, having the defense, having the links together with one another. This Super Saiyan 2 Kale is a vibe. Young Hitman is most certainly off this. Please do not summon for her. Please do not summon for her. I'm begging you. I, I was going to end the video at three different times, so please do not summon for her, bro. Oh, I completely forgot. I'm a goofball. Uh, Krillin. Krillin is easying on global. He should be easying with his legendary challenge camp. Well, not should be. He is easying. What am I talking about? It's already been announced in the game that his campaign is coming up. You guys know what that means. With that coming up, this which is crazy because this is where I started the video off at. So once again, shout out to Celtic Link. Shout out to Toon Rami. Appreciate those two. Deborah and Nappa are necessary for this event, and so with that being the case, their trade points, the Baba Shop points that you need to buy them for, are going to be discounted on Global. Thank you for that. Uh, Akatsuki, we, we, 12k is not bad. I do want to fill out the paths on those Baba Shop units. I just don't like the idea of selling SSRs for like garbage free to play units. It pisses me off. But yes, Krillin's Legendary Challenge campaign is on the way. Krillin's is arguably the worst one so far. It doesn't really make sense. None, look at all of these units and think about their leader skills. None of the leader skills cover everybody. They actually had to nerf him on JP just so that people would stop complaining as much. That doesn't fix the issue. Like they didn't think this through. It was it was it was stupid. It's very dumb that you can't run them on most of them on one leader skill. But that's the situation we're in. So uh, I guess it is what it is. But yeah, Krillin's on the way. Krillin's ECA is I. I wouldn't call it crazy. I wouldn't call it fire. I think it's just I. It's straight. Like it's valid. Like it's it's a good ECA. I'm gonna leave it there, young him. <laughs> I don't have. This is gonna be a hellacious ECA process. Young Hitman is off this.